A year ago, Katrina Nordic was opening up what would turn into a stellar senior season on the basketball court, in which she would lead the Golden Eagles to a program best in wins and a second consecutive trip to the NSIC Sanford Health quarterfinals in Sioux Falls. Now a recent graduate of the University of Minnesota Crookston in applied studies with an emphasis in animal science and education, Nordic is back to where everything started on the family dairy farm outside of Purim, Minnesota. Well, just after I first went to college, I just really missed the farm a lot. It was just something I realized I kind of wanted to do for the rest of my life, so it's been great to be back and be back at home and around family and everything, so it's just been really nice. After getting married in the summer of 2015, Katrina and Josh Nordic spent their first year of marriage apart as Katrina was finishing up her degree in basketball at UMC and Josh was finishing up his degree at Bemidji State. Yeah, it's awesome just after being apart for the first eight or nine months of our marriage, now being back home together. It's pretty awesome not having to drive or just see each other every other weekend like we did for the first eight or nine months, so it's been super awesome just to be back home and be together finally. Katrina takes us through what a day on the dairy farm is like for her. Well, the day starts early, 5 a.m. I'm up milking cows, so that takes about two, two and a half hours. So um, then I come in, and if I'm subbing that day, I'll be to school by 8 and um, sub all day long, and then go to practice for about an hour. I have to cut practices short and get home to milk again at night. Um, so. I mean, pretty busy unless I don't I don't sub some days and then I'm just kind of home during the day and taking care of things in the house, but other than that, it's pretty much all. Even though she is loving life on the dairy farm with Josh and her family, Katrina has great memories of the last two years helping lead the Golden Eagles to back-to-back -to -back NSIC Sanford Health tournaments. It was awesome, I think, about my whole career, but especially those last two years, like you said, really stand out. And I mean, a big part of that, I think, was just the respect that um, my teammates and we all developed for each other and for our coaches. Everybody just pretty much bought in and yeah, it was, I mean, they're awesome memories I have from especially those past two years. During her time at UMC, Katrina had success on and off the basketball court as she was a 2015-16 COSIDA Academic All-District selection. She owes a lot of her success to the great staff members at UMC who helped set her up for success at UMC and beyond. The professors and the teachers I had, um, they just really taught taught you how to just value relationships and some of them I still have relationships and still you know be in touch with them right now and um, just the, the small campus and the friendly atmosphere of everybody there it just really taught you to value people and you know create a network and a web of people that you're always going to be in touch with and that will always be there for you and I think that's the biggest thing. Through her experience as a Golden Eagle, Katrina forged relationships off and on the basketball court that will last a lifetime. Yeah, I've gained, I mean, tremendous relationships. Like you said, Alexa, she's probably my best friend still right now. We talk all the time. And Megan, I just talked to her the other day too. And um, Michaela, and I mean, Evan Ashley, the list goes on and on. I can, there's a handful of them that come to the farm and stay with me for a weekend. And I still plan on going back to some games and watch some of those girls this year that are still playing. So. Yeah, the relationships that I've gained and built from being on that team are awesome. A major contributor to Nordic's success on and off the basketball court was the relationship she had for all four seasons with her head coach, Mike Roisland, a relationship that continues to grow to this day. You know, he's just, he really teaches you about basketball, but he teaches you about life and what's important in it and um, the importance of valuing relationships and importance of being loyal to people and trustworthy and um, I, I have a great relationship with him still now and I mean I there's nobody else I would have rather played for in college he's one of my favorite coaches probably ever that I've ever had and I have a ton of respect for him and I mean the list I could go on and on the list of how much he's taught me about life and just everything so I, I mean he's a great guy great coach Katrina shares a piece of advice to anybody that is considering Minnesota Crookston as one of their college choices. Just that, you know, college is a scary thing. You don't know what you're going into, and um, UMC is the place where you're going to be taken care of. There's people there that care about you, um, whether you're on a team or not. The professors there care about you. You're, you know, you're, you're your own person. You're not just a number, like we always say at another university. You're a person, and they know your name and. Um, it's just you feel like welcome there and you feel like it's a home after you know, only a couple short weeks and 
that was probably the most comforting thing.